Hey besties and welcome back to another makeup tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'll just be doing my everyday natural like glam look. Um, so let's just get into it. I always start with brows. Um, that's just my preference. I love doing my brows on like a clean bare face because I find that the pencil glides really easy against my skin that way. And I just like doing everything after my brows are already done. You'll see me do this in every tutorial, but I always like to create hair-like strokes at the beginning of my brow. When I go in to conceal and everything, it just gives such like a nice feathery look. Also, I don't fill in my brows all of the way. I don't like a harsh, dark brow, even on the ends. So you'll see me lightly like filling in gaps, but I don't fill it in all the way. And it all comes together in the end. When you get to this step, I really want you to take your time. Concealing the brow frames the face. Your eyebrows frame your face. Take your time. Take your time blending. Always remember, pat in, don't swipe. And just remember, you use that lighter color on the bottom of your brow and you go in with the color of your skin for the top of your brow so you don't create a halo brow. Okay, so lately I've been loving to underpaint. And if you don't know, um, underpainting is a term that a lot of artists use when they contour first and then add on all of the other products later. But honestly, this has been such a game changer for my makeup routine. Like, it just leaves everything so seamless and just so beautiful and just natural. And I love doing my makeup this way now. Okay, so now we're about to start concealing and always make sure your beauty blender is wet. We don't use dry beauty blenders, but lately I've been using my um, black triangle sponges and I don't even pick up my beauty blenders anymore. Like they are just a lifesaver. You can also find the black triangle sponges on my website and look how that concealer just melts into that contour. Like if you try this today, I guarantee this will be your favorite way to do your makeup from now on. Like everything just blends together so seamlessly and you'll see me going back and forth a lot, just making sure that every line is blended and nothing is out of range. Okay, so I know nose contour is kind of tricky for a lot of people. So just think of it like this. I always take 
the contour on both sides of my nose I work that into my brow first because that's going to kind of go into my shadow when I place my shadow and I just bring that contour just down the bridge of my nose remember you can't manipulate the base of your nose you can only manipulate the bridge so that's what we're going for to create that nice illusion of a slimmer so to say nose so next I went in with my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand and I love just going back in with the extra light concealer under my eyes because I just love that extra pop, that extra highlight, like that extra, uh, you know? <laughs> It just always makes the look so extra but in a subtle way and I just love a bright under eye so if you don't you can honestly skip that step but I love it I always get questions about this little white powder. So RCMA uh, powder has been a staple and I think almost every makeup artist kit like this is like taking it back old school and I like to use this powder to brighten up under my eyes and to set the rest of my face and it just blurs everything so nicely. So I'm just going in with that same brown powder that I use on my eyes from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm just placing that on my bottom lash line. Sometimes I also like to just create like a little wing with the shadow and it just gives like a nice depth if you're doing like liquid liner. You guys, I love these lashes so much and they're for my lash line and they are called Tokyo. So go get you guys some Tokyo lashes. Like look how easy they just come on. I love these lashes so much. And I love a lash with a little bit of weight to it. So after I do my lip liner, I just like to blend it out. I like for my lips to look like a soft gradient, nude, brown, like I don't like like a too much of a harsh line on my lips, so that's what you saw me doing there. So now I'm just taking my MAC face powder in the shade C9 and I'm putting that under my brow just so the eyeshadow has something to blend into and it's not still that harsh line. 